and welcome to your Go Market Update for today, the 15th of July 2022. I'm sure you're looking forward to the weekend. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you through what's happening today in financial markets. In the US overnight, we saw a really sharp downturn initially, uh, but we regained most of the early losses, with the exception of the NASDAQ, uh, which just edged into positive territory. All of the other indices closed slightly to the downside. Now, this was despite JPM missing earnings expectations, US PPI higher, and Eurozone forecast of yet higher inflation, slower growth to 1.5% from 25 And the fact that markets recovered at all in light of all that bad news is interesting. US futures are mildly positive in Asia, around about a quarter of a percent of the upside. But Asian indices are all negative today on the back of that weaker US lead and near the lows of the session with the ASX down around 1.3% as we record this. European futures are suggesting a higher open. We may get some significant moves in these once we have data out of China, which is due later on. In the FX market, the US dollar index was up again yesterday, uh, but is pausing in Asia today while we await that data. Gold broke through that important short-term 1725 support level and did in fact get down pretty close to 1700 and may test that again oil also was under significant pressure yesterday both the wti and the brent contracts broke through 100 dollars but have regained a little today and in the back end of last night's session the vix interestingly dropped and is still below 28 and copper continues as with most base metals to drop and is now at nine month lows and doesn't look as though it's going anywhere to the upside very soon crypto seem to have stabilized towards the back end of the week uh, bitcoin is now trading mid-range around about that twenty thousand level which seems to have been the case for quite some time now we've of course got more big banks reporting in the us before earnings season really ramps up next week as we've already intimated we've got some key chinese data out we've got gdp Retail sales and industrial production all due out. Later on this evening, we've got US consumer sentiment and retail sales out also, which again, markets will be looking at pretty closely to see how the economy is faring. A couple of charts of interest today that caught our eye. We have just keep an eye on the Euro Kiwi this morning, which has been retesting support at 163 35 for really the majority of the week uh, we were last down this level at the back end of may and early june uh, but we look as though we could be on for a little test today if we just pop onto the 30 minute chart you can see how we are trading in a relatively tight range at this stage and towards the bottom of that between 163.35 and 163.60 if we do get a break of this there could be significant downside this would represent a low not seen since beginning of may and possibly a 50 or 60 pip move to the downside in the first instance so one to keep an eye on perhaps on the asx we're looking at zero again it's retesting 81.10 resistance you can see that was its close yesterday we had a little pullback initially today and so despite the fact that the asx is struggling a little bit today we are seeing it test that level towards the highs of the session and shaping up very nicely if we break through this there could be a move up to 92 so that's one to potentially watch also trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now